Okay, we on? We're on. All right. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is actually, you're getting a live broadcast of me uh, doing this. Um, well, live, but we're actually putting this in um, a, a text platform for the Top Hat folks. So this will, even though it is uh, September 25th, and um, we're moving right along. And what we're looking at today in today's quick lesson, and then, and then of course, you'll have your chapter three quiz. And, and you're going to see that uh, I'm going to change uh, the way we number things. We're in chapter three, and this is chapter three, part two. And it'll be much easier for you to follow along. And I won't get confused when you say, hey, you didn't give me the number of temps that we needed for this uh, assignment or whatever. And I won't send people on wild goose chases or anything like that. It'll help us keep things straight. All right, we'll do the these things in chapters. Now, I've written a lot of prose on the pages that you have here, on the pages that you have here, and um, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to talk a whole lot, but what I did want to do uh, real quick was, and let me turn on the ladybug before we get started here, um, get that thing turned on, and I think you can see my screen probably, little bits of it. Um, and as soon as I get the ladybug started, I'm going to show you the big idea behind what we're doing. Now, we're looking at gravitational potential energy. And what gravitational potential energy is, is when I take my calculator and I raise it up. I always have trouble with this because I don't know how to look backwards. I'd never make it as a weatherman because they always have to look backwards at the thing. All right, so if I take this calculator and I raise it up in the air, I'm raising its gravitational potential energy. In other words, I'm getting it up to where it's ready to do work. You know the work it's going to do? It's going to fall. <laughs> All right? And then gravity will take over and do positive work because the force and the displacement are going in the same direction. So we've got the... Uh, so we've got work, we got positive work going down. We raise it up, we get the potential energy means we're getting it ready to do work. Uh, another type of potential energy that we'll look at in this class is in springs. All right, springs have potential, you, know, you stretch it and then boing, 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 boing and, and you get it going that way. Okay, so um, that's what we're doing. All right, and... Uh, so let me get my mug out of here, and then we'll go to the ladybug, and I, and I will show you the big idea of what we're going to be doing in this little segment, okay? All right. Okay, so here we go, and let's go to the lady. I'm sorry, I should have turned her on earlier. Takes her a minute to fire up here. There she goes. All right, now. Gravitational potential energy, GPE, gravitational potential energy. We do it this way. It's the mass times the acceleration due to gravity times the height. Now, do not make that acceleration due to gravity negative, okay? It's the quantity of it. Energy is a scalar quantity. It is not a vector. So everything we're going to do, it's like money, all right? You either have it or you don't, or you have it and you spend it. Okay, gravitational potential energy, think of gravity as your as the money you have in the bank and your kinetic energy, kinetic energy, which is equal to one half the mass times the velocity squared. Now I better start doing where G is gravity. Okay. G is gravity, which is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. H, you see, I, I banned it, and I found this out when I had a phone call with one of your fellow students. Um, she was going, well, how? what is one half mv squared for um, kinetic energy? And I was thinking of it more as if she was an engineering type student asking me where it came from. I said, well, it's the calculus. Um, <laughs> you, do, you take the integral of, um, <laughs> of the momentum and you get the kinetic energy. Everybody knows that, right? And she was being very polite. And, and, and then I finally figured out, oh, she wants to know what the actual M's and the V is. What is it? What the heck is it? I did a bad job of that. When we talk about H, so we mean the height, okay? And when we talk about M, we mean the mass, which is, and the height will be in meters, and gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. And it means the mass, which is in kilograms. And here we mean V is equal to the speed. 
we're going to keep it at speed for um, and not call it velocity one because we take a uh, scalar square of it and so it, it is a scalar. So that's what we mean. And here's the cool part. When we raise something up, we're raising its GPE, height equals zero to height equals two meters, say. If I raise something up that high, well, we've got this three meter board where we've got this 81.8 kilogram man on it. Okay, so let's change this to three kilogram, three meters. And so when I raise, so when I've got this diver standing up here, 10 meters, or, or yeah, uh, was that 10 meters? 10 meters in the air. That's way the hell up there. That's over 30 feet. Okay, well over 30 feet. So we raise him up 10 meters. Okay, and this is zero meters. So that's the difference. So his gravitational potential energy, and let's say he's 81.8 kilograms. I don't know where that came from, but we just did it. Times 9.8 meters per second squared. Notice I've got a mass times an acceleration. So that's a force times a distance of 10 meters. So he had to do work to get up there. Now he's got potential. He's got the potential to do work. All right, and then he's going to come crashing down, and I'll save that for the next video.